Good morning, everyone. I'm Corey Duke. And I'm Justin Fisher. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. Starting today, the left lane going westbound on the Broken Arrow Expressway will be closed at 145th uh, East Avenue uh, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's for a lighting project. That lane will be closed during those times daily until the project is finished in mid-May. And we are bringing you a silver alert this morning. Broken Arrow Police say 65 year old Wayne Violet left his house Sunday afternoon. Hasn't been seen since and a phone call with his family. He said he was lost in the Sepulpa area. Violet is diagnosed with dementia and PTSD. If you do have any information, please call Broken Arrow Police Department's non-emergency number. That is 918-259-8400. House fire in Broken Arrow over the weekend kills two children and an adult and leaves another child in the hospital this morning. That fire happened around 430 Saturday morning. The child in the hospital has second and third degree burns on his arms, legs and face. Investigators are still trying to figure out what caused that fire. All right, let's get you out the door this morning. We're going to send it over to meteorologist Annie Brown with a look at that Monday forecast. Annie. Good morning. Increasing clouds. We're tracking breezy conditions. Warmer temperatures will be in the 60s by this afternoon. We do some severe weather potential later on this afternoon and evening. It's mainly south and east of Tulsa, and that's going to be riding right along Pittsburgh County, extending over into Poto with that marginal risk, which is a level one out of five, so the lower end threat. Can't rule out the potential for an isolated, stronger storm, but the bulk of that severe weather will fly out to our east and that will not be impacting us increasing clouds and those winds for today as well as those showers better opportunity arriving just in time for st patrick's evening and into friday corey and justin that's a look at some of the stories making headlines today stick with two news oklahoma for updates all throughout the day